In this book review, we are going to explore business success and uncover the blueprint for creating a $1 million business. Have you ever pondered the intricacies of building a million dollar business from the ground up? Whether you've toyed with entrepreneurial ideas or initiated a modest venture, the prospect of reaching the coveted seven-figure milestone may have seemed like an imposing peak in the distance. Envision, if you will, a scenario where, instead of grappling with a steep and perilous slope, there exists a meticulously charted course to success, awaiting your initial stride. This journey commences with the germination of an idea, propelled by an unwavering passion to address a real-world issue, and culminates in the establishment of a sustainable and prosperous business. How might such a perspective shift impact your outlook? Within the pages of this review, you'll unravel the comprehensive framework essential for navigating the entrepreneurial terrain and elevating your modest enterprise into a flourishing million-dollar business. This expedition demands resolute determination, shrewd strategies, and a profound understanding of your target audience. You will delve into pivotal stages encompassing funding, meticulous product launch preparations, and the pursuit of sustainable growth. Additionally, contemplation will extend to crucial decisions, such as the choice between scaling operations or considering acquisition opportunities. Are you prepared to take the plunge and embark on this transformative journey towards success? Let's commence this insightful exploration. Transform your aspirations into a million-dollar legacy. The idea of establishing a million-dollar business may often appear as an unattainable dream for many of us. However, it's a notion that demands scrutiny, armed with determination and unwavering commitment. Turning this dream into reality is entirely feasible. The question remains, how does one navigate the complex landscape of entrepreneurship? The pivotal factor lies in the identification of a product or service that resonates with personal passion and a profound comprehension of the effective market entry process. To illustrate this transformative journey, let's delve into the inspiring success story of Susie Batiz, an embodiment of tenacity and resilience. Susie harbored a lifelong dream of being an entrepreneur, yet her path was fraught with bankruptcies and setbacks. Undeterred, she courageously set out to tackle a mundane yet pervasive problem, unpleasant bathroom odors. Embarking on a series of experiments, Susie birthed Poo Pori, an innovative solution that swiftly captured public attention. What distinguishes Susie's journey is not merely the invention of a product but the astute identification of an audience who found it indispensable. She pinpointed her target demographic, women seeking relief from embarrassing situations. By establishing a genuine connection with this audience, the magic unfolded. This narrative unveils the primary secret of entrepreneurship. It transcends the product itself and centers on the people you aim to serve. In the early stages of Moran's entrepreneurial endeavors, this insight eluded him. It took a decade of experience to recognize that genuine fulfillment stems from serving others rather than merely selling products. He gleaned this wisdom through diverse experiences, starting from humble online ventures to immersing himself in entrepreneurial events in search of direction. The quest was to create something purposeful. This leads us to the second entrepreneurial lesson, scratch your own itch. If a particular problem bothers you, chances are, others are grappling with it too. Channel your efforts into crafting a solution. Remember, the nucleus of your business is people, not products. By comprehending the challenges faced by a specific demographic, you can forge a brand attuned to their needs, fostering customer loyalty, repeat business, and ultimately distinguishing yourself from transaction-focused enterprises. Yet, the euphoria of problem-solving should not breed complacency. The entrepreneurial journey is laden with challenges, prompting the embrace of the third lesson, be prepared to make sacrifices. The inaugural year in business may impose financial strain, necessitating the forsaking of a consistent salary, the reinvestment of every earned dollar, and prudent decision-making. This phase represents an exploration period, a time for acquiring expertise. Armed with a well-defined plan and a clear deadline, one can sidestep the pitfalls of passive thinking and propel the business forward. In essence, the realization of a million-dollar business is not an elusive dream. 
It revolves around cultivating the right mindset, recognizing your audience, crafting a resonant brand, and delivering tangible value. Begin by addressing your own concerns, identify the challenges faced by those in your vicinity. Position people at the core of your brand. Embrace the grind, confront challenges head-on, and progress incrementally. You'll be astonished at how, sooner than expected, you're not merely constructing a business but forging a million-dollar legacy. If you find a little bit of value in our content, please consider supporting the channel through likes, shares, and subscriptions. Surprisingly, 88% of our listeners haven't engaged yet, so I kindly ask for your support. Your comments are not just a guiding star but also the foundation of our progress. Thank you. Now, let's delve back into the review. Master the art of funding and launching your venture. Embarking on an entrepreneurial journey often entails navigating critical phases such as securing funding and orchestrating a successful product launch, both integral to the overall success of your venture. Let's delve into the funding aspect, exemplified by the narrative of Dollar Shave Club. The company initiated its venture by seizing an opportunity to sell surplus razors, garnering modest initial funding. As it cultivated a steady customer base, it strategically reinvested revenue back into the business. This iterative process of earning, reinvesting, and adjusting strategies based on market response became its foundational approach to securing and managing funds. This model of self-funding and iterative growth is applicable to aspiring entrepreneurs across diverse business sizes and industries. However, funding isn't solely about the capital input, it also involves astute management of incoming revenue. A common misconception is that higher sales invariably translate to increased profit. Consider a small business selling handmade crafts. Setting prices too high may result in lower sales, while setting them too low might compromise profit margins. Identifying the pricing, sweet spot, that harmonizes sales volume with profitability is crucial for sustainable growth. Revenue management is an indispensable facet of business funding that demands attention. Acknowledging that the funding phase may necessitate uncomfortable steps, such as borrowing money, is essential. Notably, not all debts are created equal. Strategic borrowing can yield a high return on investment, especially with predictable sales. For those averse to debt, seeking capital through external investors is an alternative. Platforms like Kickstarter not only address immediate funding challenges but also offer exposure and access to a customer base. Transitioning to the launch preparation phase, meticulous groundwork and a profound understanding of the audience become paramount. A triumphant product launch hinges on creating a responsive and passionate community poised to make purchases on launch day. A noteworthy example is a yoga business that cultivated engagement through a Facebook page, sharing its product development journey. Consistently updating the community with behind-the-scenes glimpses, from early prototypes to final design tweaks, allowed the business to establish rapport with its audience. This engaged community eagerly embraced the product upon its official launch. This meticulous preparation and audience engagement serve as a winning formula for a successful product launch. Entrepreneurship is a journey, not a destination. The ultimate goal is sustainable growth, achievable through strategic funding, meticulous preparation for success, and mastering the art of a compelling product launch. The Strategic Significance of Scaling Your Business Congratulations on the successful launch of your inaugural product. However, the realization sets in that a single product might not be sufficient to reach the coveted million-dollar milestone. The journey from a solitary product venture to a flourishing, million-dollar brand extends beyond mere product launches. It entails a strategic amalgamation of market insight, customer engagement, and influential partnerships. The experiences of entrepreneur Aubrey Marcus and his venture, Onnit, provide valuable insights into this transformative process. Before achieving success with Onnit, Marcus faced setbacks in previous ventures. His introduction to nootropics, substances enhancing brain function, sparked a deep conviction. Committed to Joe Rogan, a popular podcaster, Marcus vowed to create the world's premier nootropic supplement. 
This commitment fueled his extensive research and product development, resulting in Alpha Brain. Rogan's endorsement on his podcast catapulted the product's success, marking on its evolution from a small venture into a holistic human optimization company with a diversified product portfolio. Yet, propelling a brand beyond a solitary successful product requires more than product development and endorsements. It involves cultivating a community, engaging customers, and heeding their feedback. As your brand expands, customer testimonials and positive reviews become pivotal. They not only attract new customers but also contribute to a sales machine generating consistent revenue, a crucial entrepreneurial objective. Scaling to a million-dollar business transcends multiplying product lines or fixating on analytics. It involves comprehending your customer's journey, enhancing customer experiences, and strategically releasing products, one at a time, to sustain momentum. Consider the story of Paul Miller, the founder of Cozy Phones, as inspiration. Instead of replicating existing products, Miller delved into understanding the unique needs of potential customers. Identifying neglected markets like children and individuals with autism, he created Cozy Phones, comfortable, wearable headphones tailored for these demographics. Recognizing the need for innovation to serve customers better, he developed a variant for sleep or meditation, featuring ultra-thin speakers and a breathable mesh lining. This product not only fulfilled a specific need but also leveraged the brand equity of Cozy Phones. Paul's success underscores the power of a customer-centric approach. Rather than relying on numerous product releases, it derived from understanding customers, innovating to meet their needs, and strategically launching new products that built upon the success of the original. It serves as an exemplar of how a focused customer journey and an innovative mindset can propel swift business expansion. To expand or to sell, the entrepreneurial dilemma. As you stand at the cusp of the elusive million-dollar milestone, having mastered product development, connected with your customer base, and evolved your business into a multi-product brand, you now face a crucial decision. The path ahead forks into two distinct routes, scaling your business to greater heights or preparing for acquisition. The first option, scaling, becomes viable with a steady monthly revenue of around $100,000. Entrepreneurs at this stage can contemplate reinvesting profits to fuel further growth, potentially drawing a personal salary from the business and dedicating full-time focus to their venture. A case in point is Jeremiah Klingman, founder of Tribe Fitness. When his company achieved a stable revenue stream, he chose to scale. Jeremiah identified the unique value his company offered, high-quality fitness products with rave user reviews. Ensuring the preservation of this quality while reaching a broader customer base became paramount. He expanded the company's presence, reaching more customers without compromising existing relationships. Customer feedback was valued and used for continuous product refinement, ensuring customer satisfaction during this growth phase. Simultaneously, he carefully managed production, marketing, and overhead costs ensuring that the rise in revenue outpaced escalating costs, resulting in increased profitability. Scaling, essentially, is about strategic growth, reaching more customers, boosting revenue, and increasing profitability while preserving the distinctive elements of your business. Jeremiah's story illustrates that, with the right approach, scaling can propel a business well beyond the million-dollar milestone. Alternatively, when a successful business achieves consistent sales, it might signal the opportune time to consider an exit strategy. Acquisition. This transition necessitates caution, ensuring alignment between long-term goals and the decision to sell. Finding the right buyer, committed to nurturing and growing your business successfully, is crucial. As a parting reflection on this entrepreneurial journey, it's crucial to remember that financial success doesn't automatically equate to personal fulfillment. The increase in your bank balance should not overshadow the purpose of your life. While growing your company, strive for personal growth and cultivate a fulfilling life beyond monetary success. This approach avoids the trap of trading potential for money, a pitfall leading to both happiness and financial insecurity.
After all, the journey to a million-dollar business is a marathon, not a sprint. A marathon paved with resilience, strategy, and constant learning. Final Reflections on the Million-Dollar Journey Embarking on the path to building a successful million-dollar business is a journey that demands a deep understanding of your audience, the provision of effective solutions to their problems, and a consistent delivery of value. It begins by fostering an entrepreneurial mindset, one that is prepared for challenges and willing to make necessary sacrifices. Importantly, the core of any business should revolve around its people, not just the products it sells. The key stages in the growth of a business include securing funding, orchestrating a successful product launch, and sustaining growth. Each stage demands strategic decision-making and a keen insight into market dynamics. Recognizing that scaling or preparing for acquisition are two viable paths upon reaching the million-dollar mark is crucial. Entrepreneurs like Susie Batiz, Aubrey Marcus, and Paul Miller exemplify how qualities such as resilience, strategic thinking, and customer focus can lead to immense success. However, amidst the pursuit of financial success, it's essential to not let it overshadow personal fulfillment. Striking a balance between personal growth and business success is paramount. Ultimately, the journey to a million-dollar business is not a sprint but a marathon, one that requires resilience, strategic planning, and a continuous commitment to learning. A heartfelt thank you for staying with us until the end, demonstrating your commitment to personal growth and wisdom. Your support not only extends the channel's influence to a broader audience but also plays a crucial role in nurturing its ongoing development. As an expression of gratitude, I pledge to consistently provide insightful book reviews sourced from some of the most impactful books in the world. Thank you for being an integral part of this enriching journey.